Hi guys, Daz is here with another comic book haul. This is Daz's comic book hauls episode 78. And it's a short haul today of 18 books that I picked up on last Saturday at the Geek Mania Thornbury Con for 2019. 11 books to make my PC, 7 more to flip. Let's get into them. It was not a bad day. There were only about three, well, two main comic vendors and a couple of other people out of a couple of boxes. Uh, if you can check back through my hunting video for the last uh, Saturday, you'll see the con itself. But um, a lot of the books were way, way overpriced. But if there was a deal to be found and a key to be found for cheap, you know me. I like to barter. Let's get into the books. Pick this one up for 50p. This is X-Men 65. This is the first appearance of Cecilia Ray's. It's my second copy. Little did I know it's got a sticker down here. But uh, for 50p, I can't really complain. Cecilia Ray's appears in the New Mutants movie if it ever makes the screen. She is a doctor. Sticking with 50p books, and I'm not sure how many of you know about this book, but this is my second copy again. Secret Wars Battle World issue number two. Now, what makes this a key? If you can bear with me while I dig it out, there is a backup story in this book. And the backup story is the first ever scripts from Donny Cates. In Marvel and it's a war machine story if I'm not mistaken so uh, yeah look out for that one for 50p couldn't leave it there another book for 50p really enjoyed this character in the last season of Supergirl he was one of the main villains and that character came in this book Superman issue 60 again a second copy the first appearance of Agent Liberty Really enjoyed the actor who portrayed him. And that is from 1991, that's Superman 60. This is a book that's hot at the moment. Um, again, for 50p, I couldn't leave it there. This is Uncanny X-Men, issue 305. This is the first cameo uh, of the Phalanx uh, team. And the Phalanx are big players, I believe, in the House of X series. I think they're seen but not uh, named in this issue. Now, this one was an interesting one. Uh, they had it on for £4. I got it for 3 And this is a book that I... If you've been following my... Uh, that's his hot comic book alerts. My very first episode I made on... Maxwell Lord, yeah, and right back in the day, middle of last year, I told people that he was going to be appearing in the Wonder Woman 1984 movie that is coming out next year, and the director, is it Patty Jenkins, just confirmed that Maxwell Lord is in it, and Maxwell Lord appears in this one, Justice League issue number one from 1987. Uh, I've sold a couple of copies in the past. I've got another copy in my PC. But for three quid, I couldn't leave it there. As I'm lying there around about the 15 to 20 pound mark at the moment. Of course, Maxwell Lord in the comics, I think, had his uh, neck snapped by Wonder Woman. Pretty gruesome. I don't think that'll happen in the movie. Or will it? Uh, this one I picked up for two quid just because it was an encyclopedia uh appearance this is the outsiders issue number 10 from 1986 and this is the first appearance of the people's heroes like i said they are in my encyclopedia and people's heroes are hammer and sickle pravada molotov bolshoi and stanok stanok and uh hammer is boris yulanov and sickle is natasha yulanov and they both of those characters are in my encyclopedia as well I think it's issue one of that that has the nuclear family that appeared in the titans tv show i have that um pick this one up for 50p 
Adventures of Superman issue 509. And this is the first appearance of a villain called Massacre and the death of Auron 2. I could well see somebody like Massacre appearing in Supergirl at some point. Talking of super issues, and we this was a lovely upgrade for 50p. Adventures of Superman issue 500. Now, this book is very undervalued, in my opinion, because it's got so many good things going for it. It's got the first cameo appearance of Superboy, uh, otherwise known as Connell or Clark, uh, Connor Kent. And he is going to be appearing in season two of The Titans. Of course, he first appeared in the Smallville TV show. And it's also the first cameo appearance of Cyborg Superman, a.k.a. Hank Henshaw. And Cyborg Superman appeared in the Supergirl TV show. So it's about the first cameo appearance of Steel, uh, John Henry Irons as Superman. And of course, uh, there was a Steel um, movie back in the day that I've yet to see, and that starred Shaquille O'Neal, and it was apparently garbage, you know, the basketball player. And uh, it's also got the first cameo appearance of the Eradicator, who was a villain, and he is as Superman in this issue. And finally, we've got the first appearance of White Rabbit, who was Angora Lapin. So you've got five first appearances in that book. Very undervalued, in my opinion. To go with that one, this Connor Kent character looks pretty cool in Titan, so I picked up Adventures of Superman issue 501. This is his first full appearance, just cameoed in that previous one. The first full appearance of Connor Kent, Adventures of Superman issue 501. That is a uh, die-cut collector's edition. We've also got the first appearance of Muscle in this one, and Specs and Panamine. What's better than one copy for 50p? Two, three, I can expect a bit of buzz on this, I reckon, when that Titan show finally comes out for season two. Well, I think it's out in America, but over here, got to wait on Netflix. Uh, as well as that, I picked up uh, the B cover for 501. It's got a bit of a a little bit of a sticker tape pull on that one though. For 50p then I picked up Uncanny X-Men issue 316. And this is the uh, new stand edition and it is a Jose Madeira red stripe variant. And this is the first appearance of M who is Monette, Yvette, Clarissa, Maria, Therese, Synchros. And she appeared, believe it or not, in the TV movie Generation X. Um, and she is later to be re revealed to be Claudette and Nicole St. Croix, merged together to replicate and impersonate their sister Monet, who actually first appears as Penance in Generation X issue 1, and the real Monet in Generation X issue 40. The first appearance of the M twins in this. And uh, I thought this was going to be a double, but it's not because I also have the, uh, the rainbow foil cover. So we've got the red stripe and the rainbow foil cover. I had this one previously. I'm going to leave it there for 50p. Anytime I see this book uh, for cheap, I'm going to pick it up. They wanted £2.50. I offered two quid, and it's a nice upgrade on my previous copy. This is the Punisher, issue 31. It's from the Max series, and this is the first appearance of Barracuda. And uh, I was there was talk that he was going to be in the uh, Punisher TV series at one point, but it never materialised. Well, we're getting a lot of talk at the moment that um, both Charlie Cox and uh, John Berthel, uh, is it Berthel? Uh, is or maybe reprising their roles at some point in the MCU as Daredevil and Punisher. That would be great. But this is a book that goes anywhere from about ten to twenty pounds on a good day. Low grade this one, but I have a, a nice run of this series because it is littered with first appearances. This is first issue number five from DC. Nice Bronze Age book. And this is the uh, first appearance of the Manhunters group. So it's the first appearance of the fifth Manhunter, Mark Shaw, and the first appearance of Manhunter, Highmaster. I'm only missing, I think, two or three issues now out of the run. I think there's 12 or 13 issues. The main one being uh, the first Warlord. In issue five, is it? 
but uh yeah most bronze age series i don't do many runs but as that one is littered with first appearances i'll pick it up they asked they wanted five for it i paid three this is an issue that's eluded me for the longest time i i'd rather have paid five for it but uh they had it on for ten i picked it up for eight this is alpha flight issue number one whole host of first appearances in this book most notably puck uh who was a superb fighter with no mutant powers the first appearance of marina who was the wife of namor it's got the first appearance of wild child madison jeffries box uh tundra first appearance of the beta flight and gamma flight teams first appearance of gary cody smart alec and of the Plodex alien race and as well as that is the origin of the alpha flight team of course alpha flight first appeared in x-men issue 120 if i'm not mistaken uh again this is mid-grade because it's got a big crease across the top that is color breaking but uh for, they asked for four i paid three captain america issue 208 Glad to add this one to my PC. Another one ticked off the encyclopedia. Uh, this is the reason I picked this one up. This is the first appearance of Arnim Zola. Arnim Zola. And of course, he appeared, first of all, in the Nick Fury Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. movie starring David Hasselhoff. Oh, yeah, that's in my collection, believe it or not. So he was also, of course, most recently in the Captain America First Avenger movie, the Winter Soldier movie, and the other little uh cameo of sorts in the end game movie when he was computerized arnim zola um it's also the death of swine who is hector santiago it's a pence copy but glad to have add it to the pc another book that i've always liked this cover and uh, it's got two notable first appearances in another bronze age book they wanted uh eight pound i got it for six Again, only mid-grade, but uh, this is House of Mystery, issue 290. Love that cover. This is the first appearance of I, Vampire, who is Andrew Bennett. And also the first appearance of Mary, Queen of Blood, who is Mary Stewart. They are the two notable first appearances, but it's also the first appearance of the Cult of the Blood Red Moon group. And the first appearance of Deborah Dancer and Dmitry Mishkin. Those two characters, uh, I Vampire and Mary Queen of Blood, are in my encyclopedia. And my final pickup, it was my most expensive pickup by far. Uh, it's a book I've always wanted. Because there weren't too many key issues there, but they had this for 50. It was a nice graded book. Um, I offered 40. And for that, you know, I'd rather have paid 30 to 35, but, but 40 seems to be the going rate at the moment. For this book this is booster gold issue number one finally knocked it off the list guys three good first appearances in this book of course we've got booster gold who is uh michael john carter he appeared in smallville along with skeets uh, his robotic sidekick and finally you get the first appearance of blackguard who is uh richard hertz and he will be in the upcoming suicide squad movie guys so, uh, yeah, we've also got the first minor appearances of Dirk Davis and Skip Andrews. Great book. Big fan of Booster Gold. I know he's, I know he's not everyone's uh, cup of tea, but uh, you always talk of him to appearing at some point in a Blue Beetle movie. So, wherever that materialises, time will tell. Like I say, only short and sweet, only 18 books. But, uh, yeah, I was happy especially to add Booster Gold. There's my sponsors today. We got a beat up armored Batman. And a, Lord only knows what's up in the Aquaman there. But he's see free. That's Daz overnight. If you like what you say, please subscribe. It means the world to me. I'm at world record 740. When I get to 800, there will be a competition. That's Daz. Bye for now.